Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube and we have another haul video for you today. This is gonna be stuff that Kathy has sourced uh, whenever we could. We haven't really had time to do very many dedicated trips, so we usually just run in whenever we're out and about and Kathy get some stuff while we're in there. So we're gonna turn it over to Kathy and see what she picked up through these various stores and she's gonna take it right now. Hey guys, yeah, I don't even know when I bought this stuff. <laughs> You've seen it back and forth, back and forth for the last two weeks probably at least. Um, Cause we've been busy with other stuff. Yeah. So I forgot what everything is. I'm kind of excited as you are. See what I got. <laughs> um, so these are cool. These are some fit flops. They're like a super platform espadrille, but fit flop is the brand. If you've never seen that logo before. Um, it's a decent brand to pick up. It doesn't sell for a ton. These are pretty nice, but probably gonna list them around 35 to 40 plus shipping. They'll probably sell around 30 to 35 plus shipping. I bought these just cause they're perfect for this time of year. Although I feel like they had, oh yeah, that's what the flaw is. So these are the brand Lada's, which I would recommend picking up that brand or really any sort of I've never sold the ram before, but the comps look great. Or just any like clog that looks like this, definitely look it up. But these have some damage on the wood. I was gonna see if Chris could like maybe um, sand them down or something a little. Kind of looks chewed up or something. Yeah, at least maybe smooth them. I don't know. Even in this condition, I'm sure they will sell. They're very expensive new, so to get them at a discounted price, people would probably could look past that. Yeah. Although it looks kind of bad, so. Um, these are a size 38, so probably like a seven and a half, eight. I can't remember what comps were, but I think I could get 40 to 50 for those. In its current condition, or? I'm not sure. If they're repaired. I think they could get more if they were nicer. Okay. So. Uh, these are just the brand Tows. Um, I do like this brand. It sells usually pretty quickly for me, um, although we're going out of summer, so these might take a while to sell, but that's okay. They're size US 8. Women's really good shape. They'll probably sell around 30 to 35 bucks plus shipping. This is too many price I say is plus <laughs> shipping, because I'm yeah. sure that's annoying for me to keep saying plus shipping. That's kind of how Kathy runs it through her head. Right. We're, in, we're including, <laughs> or not including the shipping charges on that. So if we were to do free shipping on our listings, we would be adding that into the listing right. cost. And that would be like, oh, that'll sell for 50. Right. And all the prices I'm saying, I could get quite a bit less. And yeah. the price that I paid for the items to begin with, even if I get well under what I'm saying, I'll still make a profit. So right. I kind of say what I think the highest I can get is, what I'm gonna probably list them at. And then we run sales I'm not sad discounts. when I make yeah. five to ten dollars less than I said I might make. Um, so these are just some crocs. These are like the slip resistant ones. These ones sell a little bit better than the typical ones for me, um, mostly because I feel like people buy them for work purposes. Yeah. I usually get around 30 or so plus shipping on those. And these were cool. Um, I almost didn't buy them because I, I couldn't tell if they were men's or women's, but I think Chris and I decided they were men. So they're just a Vasque Gore-Tex boot. So Vasque is a great brand. Um, anything with Gore-Tex is a great thing to look up. And these are like a vintage one. You can just kind of tell by the tag. So I think I can get 60 to 70 on these, honestly. So we'll see. I think they were only like 10 bucks or something. So. Whatever we get, it'll be a nice little clip. Yeah. Trying to keep the bags separated because they're all various stores. And we still need to type receipts. them in, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm way behind. I need to. I need to be better about doing that all at once. Pick that up in a minute. <laughs> Uh, so these are just some little baby Crocs. They were only $1.99, but you can tell they're very dirty. I hate cleaning shoes, but these go in the washing machine. So I spray some Oxy on them, OxyClean, and throw them in with some old towels, and they come out really clean looking. So those will sell right around $20 or so. Just make sure you do not toss them in the dryer yes, as well. They will shrink very much. Heat <laughs> does make them shrink and warp. Yeah. These are some really nice Sanitas. Just a nice nursing clog. Um, really good shape, size 37. So a smaller size, like a six and a half to seven. 
but these should sell around 40 or so plus shipping 40 <laughs> <laughs> so these are something I bought for my son but there was something wrong with the heel that I didn't notice and now it's too late to return them it's not that there's something wrong necessarily it just he was complaining that he feels something right here and I can feel it but I don't know if that it's I don't feel like it's a flaw but it's just you can just feel like some stitches right there mm. so I don't know I don't know if that's just my kid I probably won't sell them for that like reason is it like poking so. or something like it's just like the stitching Sharp. from right here. You can feel it right here. So I'm not going to sell them online, but a little Nike like this would sell for about 20 or so plus shipping. Um, but I might try to sell them at Once Upon a Child or JBF just to get my money back. That way the person can try it on their kid, hopefully, before they yeah. buy it. I'll check them out, too, and see if yeah. uh, if I think I can fix that. I love finding like stuff like this at the thrift for our kids, though, because these were they were five ninety nine, but I'm pretty sure they were half off. That's why I bought them because they're kind of worn down. But for yeah. our kids to run, run around, around and play, play in, in the mud and stuff, yeah, three bucks for a nice, decently nice pair of Nikes is a good deal. Um, so most of the stuff I have is shoes, but I did get a few items. This is just some women's bike shorts. The brand is this. I've never seen the brand before, but bike shorts sell well for me. So it's kind of folded. I don't necessarily think the brand Sugio. matters. I would pretty Sugoi. much pick up any bike shorts. They usually sell around 20 or so. Yeah. But should be. Stole these new balance with the velcro um don't say velcro on ebay but the velcro sneakers do sell well on ebay so yeah call them hook and loop or just no tie whatever you want to call them just not velcro yeah you will get a vero yeah. mark so on your do account that. so don't use the word velcro <laughs> it's a trademarked brand name yeah. like kathy said use the term hook and loop that's kind of what the technology is i guess so yeah. instead of like saying kleenex you're saying tissue when you say hook and loop, so. Yep. Uh, so these just need a little wipe down with a wipey, but mostly really good shape. They're white, so I'm not gonna be able to get them perfectly clean, but I don't think that matters too much. Um, these should sell, these are women seven and a half. They'll probably sell right around 35, 40. And then these are some Doc Martens. What do we, oh, these were, I feel like the size on these was like really kind of worn down, but we were. I think I made it. you buy them. Yeah. You made me buy them, but. Because we were able to barely make out the size. Which I don't even see now, so we'll find that later. But yeah, these are just some. I'm thinking um, they were eights. I can't remember exactly, but. They are made in England, which means they're only sized in UK. So if you see any Doc Martens made in England, you're going to have to convert the sizing yourself using their size chart. So yeah. These are vintage. Doc does that Martins. does that mean that they're vintage then? If they're I'm pretty sure made in England, they're certainly more desirable, right? Yeah. Well, for Doc Martens. I think I don't know why. I mean, I don't think. Well, they originated in England, and <laughs> I don't think these are particularly that cute. But yeah. I can't really leave Doc Martens at this. Yeah. So yeah. You can see most of these stores, like because, like Chris said, we usually just pop in when we're out and about yeah. um, I'll run in 15 minutes or less get what I can get and get out so yeah I usually find just a couple things at a time uh, this time I found these and I don't always pick up this brand although it does seem to sell well when I do it's just not for a ton it's just Rika it doesn't cost that much to begin with but it sells decently for me these are just some sandals women size 11 I believe I don't I feel like I remember them being an 11 but yeah I think these will sell around 30 and then some Merrill I think these are called like the Encore Breeze mules um, these sell really well for me usually very quickly so I always pick them up um, I'm not sure how this color will do with like the neon but we will try it out normally the ones I find are like just black or something yeah. Oh, 
these are just the brand Hotter, which I've sold several times. Um, I only picked these up because they were half off of the 11, so 550. I would not have paid 11 for them. Their size. Oh, these are another brand, although I think they say I'm in the ankle. Yeah, so the bottoms say five, but these are sized in like UK sizing, I believe. Yeah. But in the ankle, it says UK 5, US 7, Euro 38. Mm. So. so the bottom is the UK number. Yeah, so just make sure if you ever selling this brand that you write the US sizing. Right. Um, or write all of the sizings. If I have room in the title, I'll write UK 5, US 7, Euro yeah. 38. But usually I use up all my space before I get that far. Um, those will probably sell right around. These don't sell for a ton, usually 25, 30 bucks. And they honestly take kind of a while, but I would consider that a bread and butter item. I pick them up because it's like in perfect condition. Uh, these are another item that I almost didn't buy. Actually, I saw them a few weeks before I actually bought them. They're $7.99, but I got them when they finally went half off. So the brand is Roots Canada, which I know is a decent brand. These are like a nice leather boot. I just, it was the sizing that is throwing me because I don't know. Like I see a number 252 and then I see an eight and a half and I just don't know like if that's well, a US because the Roots yeah. Canada, I don't know, is Canadian sizing different or I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. So I don't I'll know if they would be based shirt. off of European or American yeah, sizing or, at least look or US sizing. To see if anyone else has a similar boot listed and see how they listed them. But for four yeah. bucks, I figured it was worth the chance. They are a nice boot. I think I can at very least pull 30 bucks out of them plus shipping. So Maybe some of our viewers would know. If anybody yeah. uh, out there lives in Canada or knows Canada sizing, um, yeah. I don't <laughs> think... Is there an individual? It might, be a, it might be its own. I can't remember. I don't... Oh, nice. <laughs> just made a sale. Um, I feel like I tried them on and I'm like a nine and a half and they were a little snug. So maybe so it's... I feel like eight and a half might be the US size, but... We'll look a little bit more into it. But yeah, if any of you guys do know, please don't be afraid to let us know. We always love to learn new things. Sold some sketchers. Don't mind me. <laughs> Got another pair of these Adidas. I find these all the time and they sell really well right around the $30 mark. Um, these are a little dirty on the bottom, so I'll toss them in the washing machine since they don't have any leather or anything on them. And they're women's eight, so those usually sell really fast. These are men's Clark. So these are like the one Clark I pretty much always pick up. Clark's been selective on, uh, even women's. Okay. I think these are called the Clark's Wallaby, I think. Okay. And for some reason, they're just like a popular style. They yeah. make them in women's style as well, um, or women's sizes as well, but they just sell for a lot. Like, I think they sell for like 50 to 60 plus shipping, so. Almost look like a moccasin, huh? Like yeah. a moccasin so like with a, a sole. Chug a boot, too. Chug a boot, yeah. So, these got some lint and stuff in them, but I'll pick that out, and they should do okay. Oh, of course, I see the, the gum sole is kind of peeling at the back, but... I don't think that's gonna be too much of an issue. These are some Alegrias. Really, really nice shape. Size 40, so like a nine, eight and a half, nine. Shiny. Something like that, yeah, really like perfect condition. So uh, yeah, those probably sell around 50 bucks plus shipping. And some little baby C Chiron. These are the basics, which means they're from Target, which means they didn't cost as much as the real C Chiron. But they still sell really well. I'll probably get around 18 to 20 or so plus shipping on those. Alright, what do we got here? Some Converse. So they're just black, mid top, camo lining, size 3 youth. Those should sell probably 20 to 25 plus shipping. Converse don't sell for a ton, but they do sell. So other Converse, these are kind of cool. These are like a burgundy leather, women's size six. Some like velvet laces, so. Interesting. Those were interesting, yeah. Um, it's got like the gold star, that's yeah. cool. So they're in really good shape. I feel like this is a nice fall color. So I'm probably hoping for at least 30 or so plus shipping on those. 
then these are just some wrestling shoes, size six and a half. I don't know if that's men's or like youth. youth. Maybe. Yeah. I feel like men's and youth sizing is the same though. So more than likely it would be a youth person that buys them. <laughs> so yeah, these will probably sell right around 25, 30 bucks plus shipping. I like picking up wrestling shoes. They sell fairly well. <laughs> These are some UFOs I overpaid for, but they sell so well. So, um, yeah, I'm sure they'll sell in a week after I list them within oh, the first week. They're kind of dirty, so I'm going to throw them in the washing machine. But they're a size men's 9, women's 11. And these usually sell around $40 shipped. Like, that would be, like, including shipping. So but they only cost, like, 5 bucks to ship. These are kind of... These are probably the most worn-down pair I've seen, which isn't like terribly worn down, but just compared to all the others I've yeah. sold. So, I don't know, maybe more like 30 or so on those plus shipping, we'll see. I paid $12.99 though, so I hope I at least like double my money. If not, I'll make like a $10 profit and it'll be a fast sale. Mm -hmm. Some more wrestling shoes, yeah. huh? Yeah, another pair of wrestling shoes, seven and a half. These ones are in really good shape. I like that colorway, gold, black, red. These will probably sell around 30 for ship. And these are some Picolinos, which I love to sell, but I've never sold a men's pair before, and these are some nice men's loafers. So. Hmm. Uh, size 44, I don't know what that is at the moment, but yeah, just really nice dress shoe. So I think I can get 40 to 50 on those. This brand retails for so much. Like, yeah. It's crazy. That's one of the brands I discovered just via trial and error, kind of when I was a new seller and a new shoe seller. I was like, oh, these shoes look nice. Listed them. Um, they didn't sell fast, but they sold for a decent amount when they sold. Yeah. And, and we don't find since, them too often. No. Every, and every pair since they have sold fairly well. So. so be on the lookout for those. Yep. Um, these are some Chacos. So I know it's kind of not Chaco season anymore, but I can't leave them at the thrift. They're women six. I freaked out that like they're coming apart, but they're not. It's just dust. Mm. Uh, yeah, women sick. So these come out really clean after throwing them in the washing machine, and then I usually sell them. A women six might sell for less, but I usually get fifty to sixty bucks plus shipping on chocos. Just being that it's kind of going into winter, I might list them a little lower, but yeah. I would still expect at least forty dollars plus shipping out of those. Uh, these are some cool Merrells. I've never seen this kind of a Merrell before. Plus the purple color was nice. It's nice, although I feel like shoes that aren't like white, black, brown yeah. <laughs> take a little bit longer to sell. But yeah, these are just a nice flat Mary Jane, women's eight. I think I can get 35 to 40 out of those. Got some Allbirds. They are dirty, but you can machine wash these, so they should come a little cleaner. The last white pair I had didn't come super clean, but they still sold for like $38. And these ones, I think these are called the tree skipper. Like hmm. the mesh, these are, so, um, I don't have them up here. I have some pairs for myself that are the merino wool ones, and those, these are not on, on top anyways. The, the insole is, but the mesh ones seem to sell a little bit better than the full-on merino wool ones. Right. Which I think is funny because merino wool is nice and expensive usually. So. Yeah. But probably these are just a little more less sweaty. Yeah. I, would think. Well, I was gonna say a little more cooler to so, wear, right? The merino wool. I love wool the Allbirds merino wool ones I have, but I do get a little bit sweaty wearing yeah. them. Oh, and these were a size women's nine, so I have to keep those for myself. I don't think Allbirds comes in half sizes, so. The nines are just a little small on me, like they fit. I have some nines. Allbirds are one of my favorite shoes to wear. And then the tens are like kind of big, so I don't like when they don't have half sizes. All right, these are just some Salomon, like a water shoe sandal thing. <laughs> kind of reminds me of a Keen. Uh, they're a women's eight. And I think I can get about $40 or so out of those. It's a great brand. Might take a little bit. 
These were nice. I love this brand. I don't find it a super ton, and usually when I do, it's tore up. It's just La Sportiva. Just a really nice, like, outdoorsy shoe. Nice tread. Um, these are a women's nine and a half, so I think I can get at least 50 bucks, maybe like 55, 60 out of those. And one of my favorites, Hoka. Hoka One One. Yeah. <laughs> these are a women's nine. Um, very dirty, you can see, but I do throw these in the washing machine, so I'll spray them down first try to get all that big dirt off yeah. and then we just wash them in the washing machine so they come out looking just fine haven't ruined a pair of clothing yet i don't think there's always a first time yeah <laughs> we'll see <laughs> it's always a chance i'm willing to take There. I was looking for overalls at this Goodwill and I didn't find any overalls, little baby overalls. Oh, the old Oshkosh I'm ones. always looking yeah. for Oshkosh, John Deere. Yeah. Even newer Oshkosh sells 18 to 20 bucks and it's usually a dollar or $1.99. But yeah, I didn't find any, any overalls this day, but right by the overall section was this little baby Bowden dress. So that's super cute. I think I can get at least 20 out of that. It's a six to 12 month. And then this is just a random unbranded vintage dress, but these floral and ruffly dresses seem to sell well on eBay. So taking a chance, it was 99 cents. Yeah. So I think you'll I, make money. At the very least, <laughs> I think I can get 20. Some of these dresses can sell for it's 100 bucks even, yeah. but yeah. yeah, I think this is just a regular old one that'll probably get me 20, 25 bucks. All right, we got some men's Crocs, size 12. Those will probably sell around 25.30. Chris found these. Oh yeah. And these were half off. I couldn't believe like they made it to the half off week and they were only $10 originally. So only like five bucks or maybe they were 30% off, but. They might've been 30. I can't remember. I'll figure out. Yeah, it was either 30 or 50% off. <laughs> well, one of the shoes on here was half off of 10. None of them were 70% off, so. Yeah, so 10, 50 percent <laughs> off, huh? Yeah, I can't believe they made it that long, but yeah. Uh, these are a size 43 men's. Well, I guess they could be. I feel like Camber makes shoes unisex, although size 43 would be a very large woman's size. So, anyways, just a really nice leather shoe. And don't know what it's gonna sell for. I didn't really look it up, but every shoe I've sold of this brand has went. For a minimum of like 50 bucks so yeah, and camper you can usually kind of easily tell by the weird. soles they got like little bubbles <laughs> like as the soles <laughs> and then uh it just says camper yeah. on the insoles well, that's a brand i've only learned in the last year or two and i love yeah it. we don't find them too often either mm -hmm. well, just like the picolinos nope all right some more shape up some of my favorites <laughs> <laughs> i think these were on sale too which is why i grabbed them yeah so these are a women's 10. so yeah those will sell probably around 40 or so plus shipping got some sketchers flats really great shape size six so smaller size but i'll get 25 or so plus shipping and dance goes i feel like there was something about these that made me not want to buy them or almost like I don't know. Maybe that they were they small. Look good. Oh yeah, maybe they're a size. Well, they're 38. It's not too small. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, they have some scuffs and stuff, but it looks like they were only 7.99. So I, that's a fine price, even with scuffs. I don't see anything terribly wrong with them. So those will probably sell 35, 40 dollars plus shipping. They have pretty decent little stuff. Uh, so this is a brand I've come to like to sell. I don't find it a ton. It's the Territory Ahead. I just really loved this pattern. I like spotted it from across the room, thinking it might be Prana or I honestly thought it might be the Territory Ahead um, or like Prana or something like that. But 
Yeah, um, I think this will sell 25 to $30 or so. These, I mean, I think it depends on the pattern, but it does seem like people search out these shirts, so. Mm. All right, got some Crocs, clogs, heel clogs, size eight women's. Probably sell those right around 30 plus ship. More Alegrias, really great shape, size 39. They're like um, Paisley or something. Mary Jane. Mary Jane yeah. yeah. Probably right around 40 or so. Oh, is that like shipping. a tooled surface? It's sort like of a like almost, it's not quite velvety, but it kind of is. The velvety is like under, I feel like. Oh, yeah, it almost it looks is. like it's two <laughs> layers. That's cool. Yeah, those should do well. These, I just thought were like, <laughs> cool. It just reminded me of high school. They did. So these are just some audios. Audios. Oh, are those the Bam Margera? Um, I feel like they had a different name on them. I thought they were like Jeremy or something. Ray? Is that Jeremy Ray or something? Ray. I don't remember. We did look them up just because I think they were like 10 bucks. Yeah. We paid 10 for them. I think I can get 40 to 50, but they're a little dirty. So I'll try to clean them quickly. I really don't like yeah. cleaning them, but I don't know. Just these like really bulky. Yeah. Those are the skate padded. shoes from when I was a kid. <laughs> they don't make them like this anymore. No. So I thought that they would do well. Oh yeah. It says Jeremy Ray right here. So there wasn't a ton listed for sale or a ton of comps, so it's kind of like a shot in the dark, but yeah. I thought it was going to be worth it, and it was a fun experiment. Will be a fun experiment. Uh, this is something I've never heard of before, but they are my size, so if they don't sell, I'll keep them, and I think they were only like five bucks. So. The brand is nothing new, so they reminded me of sort of like Converse. Mm -hmm. But when I looked them up, it looked like they retail quite a bit more than Converse. I think these retail for like $99 or something. They're just a canvas sneaker. I don't know why. Oh, right here it says this product was made from recycled plastic bottles. So, oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> it's just funny that it would be that expensive new. But yeah, people like recycled goods. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, they are a women's 10. And I'm going to try to get 30 or so dollars out of them. If I can't, I'll probably just keep them. But yeah, um, you can see some scuffs on the rubber that comes off so easily with just some goof off that we use. So. Yeah, we might need to be a little careful though. It could be a different material versus like Try Converse. The muscles first. So yeah, if you're ever like, you know, we use goof off, which is a very abrasive. It, it's a very strong chemical. It's like stronger than like nail polish remover, or like acetone. Yeah. So um, usually on like Converse, it doesn't really mess this up, but this could be a different material. Yeah, so we're going to be very different. careful and test it out. Yeah. If that's too abrasive, then a magic eraser just gets that right off. So. Yeah. I do sometimes wash like Converse in the washing machine, but it does kind of fade the canvas. And these are like in really bright red color right now. Yeah. I wouldn't want to try to fade those. Yeah. Right. Last but not least, we've got some Danner boots. So this is one of my favorite brands to find. I don't find it a lot and they usually mark it up at the thrift, which these kind of were $15.99, but that's not too bad for Danner. These were probably two to three hundred dollar boots to begin with, and I can probably get eighty to a hundred out of them still. So wow. uh, these are men's ten and a half. They got some scuffs on them. You know, we might put some black polish, but even in rough shape, they would still sell. So do they have yeah. safety toe and all that or um, they do feel hard, at least harder than a normal toe. Yeah, it doesn't really say on here. Did it, it does say Gore-Tex though. So. Okay. Gore-Tex is a good thing to look out yeah. for. So, yeah, pretty decent pair of shoes. So, yeah, that was my haul. <laughs> so. All right, yeah. That's what we kind of found over the past, I don't know, maybe week or two. Uh, we do have another haul we're going to record soon that's going to have kind of similar stuff where we just, we're only really able to source right now um, here and there. Um, and this is kind of how we do it. This was probably, what, five or six different stops yeah. over a wide uh, range of days um so yeah that's kind of how we're able to source right now uh that's going to be it for this one guys thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one bye